space and why is it so important? To find out more, I've come to Cape Canaveral, which is meant to be almost as good as the Notting Hill Canaveral, even though it's got less brothers. <laughs> Wicked, I is here with Rick Searforce. He is a NASA astronaut, went on the space shuttle a few time and was actually the commander of the space shuttle. He is going to tell us about space because it ain't only the Earth that is out there, there's also something outside it called space, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, Ali. So what's the longest you've been in space? My longest space mission was my last one and it was 16 days on board the space shuttle. 16 days? Mm -hmm. How did you hold your breath right. for that long? You don't need to hold your breath in the space shuttle because uh, it's a pressurized cabin, just like an airplane on an airliner. What is a planet? A planet is, well, we live on a planet. Earth is a planet. It's round. It's, uh, it's pretty large, but it's small compared to a star. Like the sun is a star. Uh, and you could take a million Earths. A million Earths could fit inside the sun. That's how big it is. What, the sun is bigger than the Earth? Oh, yes, much bigger. Star. But it's just so it's far about away. Well, of course, it's so far away. <laughs> so the sun ain't that small? No, no. It's huge, really. It's just so far away. It's it, much bigger than that. <laughs> yes. What about drinking? Mm -hmm. Did it feel strange drinking your own wee? <laughs> Not sure. Your own oh oh urine no we don't we don't do that actually in the space shuttle because it, however good it is it can never taste like a real apple well, tango or whatever well, I don't know I've never tried it <laughs> no I've tried it but, once yeah. but it don't it's rough <laughs> oh did you get on with the other drivers we got on great with our crew I had just a great crew. What was the most annoying thing that one of the other drivers did? Oh. <laughs> did, he, did any of them go for like all the old time? No, did did no one did any of that. That would be irritating after that. What would you do if somebody did go ni 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 no no no? Well, I would, for the old as time. the boss man and commander, I would pull them aside, just that person and me, and we would talk and say, I know you might like doing what you're doing, but it's bothering the rest of us and it's hard for us to do our work. Would you ever chuck him out? Uh, not outside of the space shuttle because I mean, it's not worth killing somebody. Over. That would never happen. Does you ever have any student from England who come here? There's been one lady from England who flew on the Russian space station Mir. Do you know my uncle Jamal? Oh, no. <laughs> Jamal Kazir with a K. Because Inter D went up on one of the things. That name is not familiar. <laughs> All right, well, we can talk a lot of nonsense, but okay. <laughs> if he ain't been on it, then he owes me a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about. Will I get a share of that tenner? Yes, yeah, real. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it will. You know, a couple of quiz. <laughs> <laughs>